let's go back. Let's go back here. For why? I don't know. I just feel bad for the horse. Um. Also, I want to show Dino that bread recipe. Such a good little horse. Well, Tex, I'm back. I didn't die. Whoa. Aren't you proud of me? Uh-oh. I better put that back. Not before I read this. <gasps> Jane Nash to Tex? Happy birthday! Oh my gosh. Jane Nash is Tex's sister. <gasps> so there's a revenge plot. Little sister, huh? Hmm. Need something? I understand you have a sister named Jane Nash. So what if I do? Uh, Did you know that she used to work for the Raleigh's? No, she didn't. What gave you that idea? Hey, you've been snooping, haven't you? In no. Stuff, in my stuff. I'm just very observant, that's all. My business ain't none of your business. And that includes any sisters I may or may not have. You need to go. I'm busy. Okay. Busy and scary. Gotta go. Why'd they make his eyes look like that? Ugh. Hello, Nancy. Talk. Something I can do for you? I'll let you or not. To work. Take care. Okay, let's see. Miss Talk? Nancy, how may I be of service? Have you ever met Mary Yazzie? Of course. Nice lady. I mean, for the most part. Gets uh -huh. real unfriendly when the subject of the Rowleys comes up. Sure. Do you know anything about the piece of property she's been trying to buy from the Rowleys? <laughs> well, I know she says she wants to buy it because she feels spiritually drawn to it. But I think she's got something up her sleeve. Mm. Oh, Nancy, it's great having you here. I mean, I like to talk, you know? I like to converse, to debate, to discuss. To gossip. You guys' official job on the ranch is just chicken watcher? Yeah, dude. Just stands out in the hot sun and all of that. I think he was the dude that picked me up in the chaps, too. Doesn't even take the chaps off. For what? Um... Most people well, think I'm too nosy. You're not nosy. Me neither. People like you and I are fascinated I like him. by the human condition, that's all. So, well, who else do you said want that. to talk about? Uh, nobody really. Well, I'd better get uh, going. Don't be a stranger. Okay. <laughs> I liked him until he said something weird. Let's see, um... What's in here? I saw you found a birthday card. Dave... Uh, Gregory was right. Mariazzi doesn't seem to like the rallies. Okay. Who's Dave? Elena... Uh-huh. Romance novelist. Uh-huh. Some bank robbers. Isn't far from here. Okay. Let's- let's go- let's go ride Bob a little bit more. The- mmm. Let's go take the horse for a spin a little bit more. I, you, I... You know what I mean. This is better. <laughs> Bob. Come on, Bobby. <laughs> okay. Okay. God. Let's go to Cougar Bend. Oh, we should have gone to trip. Well, I guess it's on the way back. Very nice.
An arrowhead, that's kind of cool. I have a feeling we're gonna have to come back here. Hmm. Okay, that's for later. I have a feeling we're not supposed to be here. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay. Let's, um... Bobby, let's go to the trail stop. Did you get that modem restarted and asking for a friend? I did! Is it still asking? Is it still...? God dang it. <laughs> well, uh, that's fun. That's cool. That's fun. That's great. That's amazing. Wonderful. Wonderful. Let's just pause the game. This is fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Oh good. I blame- I blame my internet provider. Okay, let's continue. He didn't want to walk with Bob? Here lies Charlie, best mule that ever lived. Oh my god, look at the way they spell January! Oh look, another one! I think I'll let Bob do the walking. Okay, then why did you give me the option to go any further? You're just gonna yell at me. Okay. Anything else I want to do? Okie anything else? I think I'll else? let Bob do the walking. Then why did you give me the option? Okay, let's let's go back to Shadowrun. Yeah, internet provider is always the safe bet for the blame. Absolutely. I agree wholeheartedly. I panicked! You're fine. You want to see that bread recipe, Dino? No, my internet's been wonky for like... a couple days now, I guess. It's weird. Alright. So, adobe bread. Get two cups whole wheat flour, one fourth cup sugar, one fourth cup shortening, two teaspoons salt, tablespoon of yeast, two cups warm water, bread flour, any anywhere from three to four cups. Put the first five ingredients in a bowl and stir, then add water and stir. Beat for a minute, then add bread flour until you have dough you can knead. Is that how you make bread? I feel like it's not. Yeah? Don't you need to let the yeast do something and something? I thought you need to let the yeast proof or something. And it'll j I thought... Because it says to add the, the flour, the sugar, the shortening, and the salt, and the yeast all together. 
Nice paragraph says that. What? Let it rise for 40 to 60 minutes. Or is that just checking these? You could you you should activate the yeast, but it's if it's active dry, it's fine. Okay. That's what I was thinking of. Thank you. I was like I distinctly remember when I like I like putting the yeast in something so that it like could do something. Actually I found a birthday card. Why did you why did you give me a notification? There's nothing new here. Cliff dwelling? Oh, cool. What am I supposed to be doing right now? Okay, so let's maybe call... We call Frank and Joe! Let's call the Raleigh's? Hello? Hi, Mrs. Raleigh. It's Nancy again. Hi, Nancy. It's Nancy! I can hear that. How is Mr. Raleigh doing? Let's get something straight right now. Even though we're Bet and George's aunt and uncle and not yours, I want you to call us Aunt Bet and Uncle Ed too. Got What's that? Bet short oh, form? Good. Now, what was the question? How is Mr. Ro Betty? I mean, Uncle Ed doing? So Elizabeth? Well, he's finding a slight fever, so the doctors are a little concerned. Oh, I'm fine. They're going to keep him here overnight, just to make sure he isn't developing Betsy? some kind of infection. Oh, but enough about Bethany? Us. How are you doing? <laughs> Bet is short for Bess. <laughs> <laughs> I delivered that envelope to Mary Yazi like you asked. She seemed a little upset when she read that you'd turned her down. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint her, but if we sell that property to her, it would send a signal to other would-be buyers that we're interested in selling the ranch off bit by bit, and we're not. Uh-huh. What does she want the property for? I have no idea. The parcel she wants to buy is nowhere near her store, and there's nothing but rocks on it. Maybe someone else there at the ranch knows, but we sure don't. Huh. I heard right, could they not tell the other course. buyers now? Was last night the first time it showed up? As far as I know, it was the strangest thing. Shorty kept babbling about how it was the ghost of the horse that belonged to some outlaw. Dirk Valentine? But that was right after Ed got himself bit, and we were all running around trying to get him into the truck to take him to the hospital, and I really wasn't paying much attention. Sure. Do you have any idea where the horse came from? None whatsoever. She wants to know where that phantom horse came from. I was hoping she could tell us. You're the detective, dear. If you want to snoop around and see what you can find out about that creature, by all means, please do. That's permission. It doesn't look like Bess and George are going to get here today. That's too bad. Why not? Their plane had to land in Omaha because of mechanical problems. They don't know when they'll be taking off. So, you'll have all those cowboys to yourself for a while. That Dave is pretty cute. I have Ned! Dave's okay, but Tex is a different story. That man scared the bejeepers out of me when he came in to interview. <laughs> but he kind of grows on you, and he takes real good care of the horses. Okay. But does Ned have chaps? Say goodbye to Nancy. I don't know if that's a pro- if that's- if that's something Nancy cares about. Do I need to put that basket back? It's fine. Okay, what if, um, hmm. I f remembered those were there. Um. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. The clock on the somewhere. It says four. There's three dials, though. There's three. There's three? So where's the third? Hmm. Green? What is it? Oh. Uh, I don't know.
There's no green. I don't... I don't know what to do here. Hold on, let's go look at that clock one more time. Part of me is like, oh, but you know, red and yellow make orange. You know, and blue and, and yellow make green. But like, how does that help? Okay, so. What if we put the red at 12, the yellow at 7, and then the cyan color at 2? Yeah. Okay. So we have 12. Seven, two, two. Hell yeah, dude! This doesn't look like it was ever opened. We're opening it now. As usual, things did not work out like I planned. Just when I get everything fixed just right for you to go looking for the thing I hid for you, I go and get myself arrested. Oh no! No matter what you hear, nothing is gonna happen to me. I will be fine, and we will be together soon, I promise. Meanwhile, you can keep busy by looking for what I hid. Start by using this piece of paper to mark where all the rock pictures are. They will tell you what to do next. Your favorite flowers and the flowers on your favorites, start keeping them in mind, too. I will leave a message for you in this here cell, just in case they decide to move me to the jail down in Tumbleweed or something. They need to bring this back. This is wonderful. I like vexing your brain because when you are thinking real hard, like when you're playing the piano, you are more beautiful than anything in the world. I am sure to be out of here before you find my treasure, but in case I am not, know that it is all yours and that you are more precious to me than 10,000 treasures put together. 9, 12, 15, 22, 5, 25, 15, 21. Dirk. P.S. I do not and never will hold what your father did to me against you. Oh, what's this? I see. Wonder. That's fun. Merrill Humber. July 4th, 1882. Got sworn in as sheriff. It was the 4th, so it's like all them celebrations was for me. Which, of course, they weren't. Francis thought up a song and played it on the piano for me. I forget how it went, but it was pretty. I'm lucky to have her for a daughter. Herford Shoup come by with a plant he brung from New York, which he calls Harrison's Yellow. Looked right dead to me, but Francis planted it out back give it some water and already it looks to be on the mend she is 17 and can read and write good and knows her numbers Herford's thinking to marry her but I said she ain't of that mind yet March 30th 1883 Francis has got eyes for a young man named Dirk she says he's from Prescott Cappy says when she plays a piano this Dirk makes everyone be quiet so he can hear her good I ain't never seen her smile like she smiles now told her to bring him to the ranch for dinner, but she says he won't come because he is too shy. I wonder if that is the truth. April 16th, 1883. Got a letter from the sheriff over in Phoenix about this Dirk Valentine who is wanted for robbing two banks in a stagecoach. I how the voice kind of changed a little bit. Like Dirk, who Francis is sweet on. When I showed her the picture, she got tearful and run off. Now, Dirk is gone and she won't say nothing about where he went. <laughs> 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 
He was like, you know, normal at first, and then he was like, and then got a letter from the sheriff over in Phoenix. <laughs> August 2nd, 1883. Dirk Valentine is robbing banks and coaches and trains all over the territory. No way. Francis says he never ever shoots his gun and only steals from people that already got plenty of money. Where? But that ain't true because some of them trains he robbed was carrying money meant to pay miners a hard earned wages. He is nothing but a no good greedy outlaw. But Francis Where? gets real mad when I say that. I fear she is still sweet on him, and that she sees him when she knows I am busy, and gets letters from him which she hides from me. September 9, 1883. Got hold of a note Francis sent to Dirk, and saw what they was going to meet. So I got a posse and we caught Dirk, and now he's in jail. The judge is coming next week, and I hear he is a hanging judge, so Dirk most likely ain't long for this world. Francis won't say nothing to me no more and says she never will again. No. Oh. September 13th, 1883. Dirk sends a secret letter to Francis, which Mason got hold of and give to me. I locked it up so she won't ever read it. Francis ain't allowed to see Dirk in jail, of course, and if she never sees his letter, maybe she will think he don't like her no more and, and maybe she will stop liking him. Frances's ma would have known what to do better than me. I wish she was still alive. September 17th, 1883. They hung Dirk at noon. I thought I would be glad, but I ain't. September 18th, 1883. Frances took Brownie in my big saddlebag and is gone. She ain't told no one where she's going, not even Cappy. But I know she will forget Dirk, and when she does... She will come home because she's a smart gal and will figure out that I, I did what I'd done for her. January 4th, 1884. My sister says her little girl Ellie got a letter that said Francis went east and was not of a mind to ever return. Where are we from it's now? Because <laughs> I miss her something awful. June 11th, 1884. The Harrison's yellow, which Francis said was her favorite flower in the world, is of brown sticks now. I don't know how to look out for delicate things like that. So it is my fault that it died. Okay. I ain't seen or heard from Francis in a year. I tell people she's on her way home, but when I look in my heart, I know this is a lie. She will never come back to Shadow Ranch, and it is my fault. Yeah. I just have to find a way to live with it. Well, I mean, listen, if you weren't controlling and overbearing. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. I don't. Wait, what's nine? To, oh. No, there's 15 and 22 on here. 25. Okay, so we need a combination. July 2nd, 1884. Francis High School ma Francis's high school mascot was a Viking and her mother's maiden name was Smith. If only. Not all of his personalities to blame, just some of them. Okay. Not this. Okay. Mm hmm. Uh huh. What did. Uh, uh. Oh, here. Start by using this piece of paper to mark where all of the rock pictures are. They'll tell you what to do next. Your favorite flowers and the flowers on your favorites. Start keeping them in mind, too. Okay. Okay. Let's hang on. Let's try to see if we can get more info. Thank you for holding, and thank you for calling the office of Charlena Purcell. Miss Purcell's latest novels, like Wind Through My Heart, was an instant bestseller, and like so many of her novels. <sighs> Never mind. 
What? Okay, I guess we're not gonna ask about things. That's fine. Whatever. What, what, what? Keep forgetting that I can browse the web on my phone. Oh no, I haven't forgotten. Uh, according to Meryl Humbert, Francis's favorite flower was called Harrison's Yellow. Too bad I have no idea what kind of flower that is. In order to find- oh. Harrison's yellow. Oh, cute! Oh, cute! Okay. Um... Uh... Uh... Who... Hold on. Who... Whose diary was that? We can just open this back up, right? We don't need to... Good, okay. Mer okay, Meryl Humbert. And then that's his locket. So. I don't know. Do we think a date opens this? What, what date would it be? Probably not. Okay. Let's go see those things. Also, do you think that the trunk has the same... It's, it's not the same combination, right? It'd be a different one. Gotta be. It's time passing in this one. I think... Well, I have. I don't think we have a room. I think... I think it's one of those ones where it's we... If we get to, like... Come on, Bob. A certain time. Like, if we do a certain task or something. Get to a certain point in the game, then it, it'll... You know, become nighttime. But... Let's... Look at... Look at that thing again. Yeah, the colors didn't line up though. Maybe the clock gives us the answer. Well, that's the thing. So there's a dove. There's a heart. Would you mind if I try to get this open? Please do. In fact, if you get it open, I'll let you keep something from it. You can have your pick. Oh, cool. There's once again three on here. Oh my god, can you pick a direction that you want to go? Uh, okay. So that's... Not... That's fine. Okay. Um... The rattlesnake's still there. Yep. <laughs> Alright! <laughs> 81. Probably the best meal that ever lived. How much do I bet this has something to do with something? Or it's just there for ambiance. I don't know. Like, why would it let me click on it? Right? Why does it let me click on a lot of things? Okay. Oh. Okay, so can I can I fill it in? That one was here. 
Okay. This one. Every time. Was here. Here? Okay. Then this. Weird little man. Here. There's a lot. Wow. I need a rope. I do need a rope, Nancy. Okay. <laughs> okay, sounds good, I'll do it. That one. Oh, apparently we've seen one of these. That's cool. Could not tell you where. Could not tell you where. Um. I, do you guys see it? Because I don't. It. Okay. Nancy, please. Oh, it was there. Okay. Got it. Oh, like there? There? Oh, that's not right. This one right here. Okay, that's why I'm like, what is going on? We got there eventually. So we have this guy. Nancy, it's so not fair and you know it. Oh, this guy. This one, the goat one, here. Okay, and there's two here. Give the sun. Just lower, and then I don't see the other one. Unless the oh, the sun was higher, and then there's a hand. Got it. Okay, that's better. Beneath? I am not confident in some of these. Okay, we need a rope. Let's go get it. Let's go get that rope. Wonderful. Grab this so I don't get yelled at again by this scary dude. Who I'm sure is harmless, but is terrifying nonetheless. Okie dokie. Oh right, we need rope. Well shoot. No sense going in there without a horse to ride. Not that my family's any of your concern, but my sister did work for the Raleigh's back in Phoenix. Okay. She got fired, she got mad, but she's over it. Okay. Uh, okay. Why didn't you tell me that before? Because it makes me look bad. I figured no one'd ever find out, and when you did, I just got all flustered-like. Uh-huh. Okay. 
Are you and your sister very close? Nope. He's for, he he creeps me out. Can be kind of a flick. I'd have probably fired her too. Oh. Uh. Do you know anything about the treasure that Dirk Valentine? Oh, yeah, his, she deserved it. Sweetheart? Nope. Okay. Uh, somehow I knew you were going to say that. I need a rope. Do you think I could borrow yours? Nope. I'm also not loving later. his line no delivery. Worry. He creeps me out. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? I found a letter that may have been written by Dirk Valentine to Francis Humber way back in the 1880s. What do you know about them? I know there's a painting of her over in the ranch house, and that's about it. Why? What'd the letter say? Nothing. I don't want to tell you about it. I think you're the bad guy. The letter made it sound like Dirk was sending Francis on some kind of treasure hunt. Well, that. if the guy did hide something, it's probably long gone by now. Very true. I'll Very true. To he work. sounds like he See talks with his teeth together. The, there's a painting in the ranch house. Yeah? Miss Nancy, how may I be of service? Well, Doesn't I'd better anyone get going. Don't Whoa. be a stranger. There's a painting of her. Is that Francis it? Francis Humber. So that's what she looked like. Uh huh. Why are we looking at this? Why is this important? Uh. Okay. Well, why? Why? The notifications are absolutely killing me. I think I got it. Thank you. I need rope. I know I saw some rope while we were leaving. I just don't know if we are allowed to have it. What do you want? Oh, okay. Basically, I'm in love with that one. I am Dirk Valentine. Is that it? Okay. Cute observation, Nancy. Come on, Bob. Okay. <laughs> Can I have the rope? Why can't I have? Why can't I have the rope? So annoying. It's right there. It's it's just right there. <sighs> Ooh, the operator, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Did I click on harvesting? I thought I... Okay, there we go. Uh-huh, the saguaro, sure. Uh-huh, I think in Arizona it's illegal to cut them down on your own. Like, you need to, like, contact somebody because they're not going to cut it down, they're going to move it. Because they're, like, literally hundreds of years old. be wrong now. We need rope. <laughs> Where haven't we looked for rope? <laughs> That's the real question. Seeing any rope? Are you sure you don't have rope? Talk to you later. Yeah, rope! Wow. Incredibly annoying. Maybe there's rope in the shed. There is nothing in here. 
There's nothing in here. Right. How's your night going? It's going well. How about yours? Oh. Phoenix and surrounding areas will be hot and dry today with temperatures expected to reach the mid 90s by 5 this afternoon. After that, temperatures will begin to drop with a nighttime low in the mid 60s. Most areas to the south and west of Phoenix can expect more heat for the next several days, while areas to the north and east should also expect rapidly developing thunderstorms. So if you're going to be hiking, biking, camping, or horseback riding, be aware that sudden downpours and flash floods are always a possibility at this time of year, and don't go into the wilderness areas unprepared. We've got several livestock auctions in the area tonight and tomorrow. Small animals, including goats, rabbits, and chickens, will be auctioned off at Barney Hall in Apache Junction, with doors opening at 6 and bidding beginning at 7. Barney Hall is located at 1339 South North Street. Also tonight, there's a horse auction at Lobenthal Farms, located on Route 5 and Gilbert. Doors will open at 5 for stall inspection of sale animals. Bidding starts promptly at 7. At 10 a.m. tomorrow, that's 10 in the morning, folks, there'll be video cattle auction over in the Gemstone Room at the Blue Dog Hotel in Rittenhouse featuring Charlay and Angus Breeden stock. Hear that? That's the sound of happy cattle, healthy cattle, cattle whose diet includes Big Pink Mineral Supplement, chelated for easy absorption. Big Pink is the perfect blend of calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, sodium, chlorine, potassium, sulfur, <laughs> cobalt, copper, fluoride, iodine, iron, manganese, selenium, and zinc. Minerals no a lot going on without. right now. Big results, stock up on Big Pink now. Is that it? Glad we listened to all of that. That was wonderful. I don't, I don't know why we needed to see the, the portrait of her. I also don't know where the hell to get rope. Nothing. Nothing. Right, I guess that's what the pink mush is. I, I don't, I don't understand. I just, I, I need rope. What if Mary's has rope? What if we have to buy it from Mary? We don't have a saddle. What if I'm getting too hung up on the details here? I'm not supposed to have rope yet. That looks like rope to me! Oh. What? I'm sorry, what is this? Oh, that's the hoof. Don't look at me like that. I, I still don't know where they were talking about a bay and a, a chestnut, you know? Oh, I do have the saddle. Okay. Um... Really upset that he won't give me rope. Fine. Come on, Bob. <laughs> okay. Let's get out all. All right, I have so much hair in my face right now. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You think Mary will have rope? Just gotta strangle someone real fast. Can I have rope, please? Hi, can I help you with something? Is that you riding that beautiful Palomino in the picture over there? That's my horse, Banner. I train him myself. Yeah? What else can he do? Anything I ask. He and I are both pretty talented. Oh no, she has a horse that's trained. It was great talking to you. Thanks it's for not looking good by. for her. 
And also, I'm not seeing any rope in here. Can he be a phantom? What if they like... He's light. What if she put him... What if she painted him in like glow-in-the-dark paint? Okay, do we think we know? I don't think we do. Cause like, the- okay, there's three dials, and there's only two hands on the clock. So... Oh. They did establish a really strong motive for her. I- okay, I- why are we going back here? There's no rope over here. Maybe they don't know that I need rope. Hmm. I need a rope. I need a rope. I need a rope. Okay. Let me have a rope. Um. Uh. I hope these are right. Mm. Okay. Yeah, we can't literally can't do that until we get a rope. So that's super duper unfortunate. Um What else can we do? I'm trying to think of what puzzles we have. And I just, I, there's, there isn't any? We're missing something pretty major. So. Need anything. Talk to you later. No hurry. Hate him. Why is there to talk like that? Okay. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? I'll let no. you get back to work. See you later. Miss Nancy, how may I be of service? Well, I'd better get going. Drop by any time. I don't I don't know why the notification keeps coming up. It's very annoying. Like, hi, you're he I'm here again. Like, I'm aware. I, I know. I got it. Thanks. Thank you. So, so annoying. Weak knees, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Um... Okay. Um, I... Okay, um... Why did I do that? I didn't need these. Start by using this piece we were working on. Tell you what to do next. Your favorite flowers and the flowers on your favorites. What does that mean? And then there's this! From Merle. Merle. I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, let's regroup here. What are, what are we? Can we call 
really nothing has happened, so probably not, but... Thank you for holding, and thank yep, you for nope. calling the okay. office of Charlene Miss Purcell's Great. latest novel, uh. like Wind Through My Heart, was an instant bestseller. And like so many of her novels... <sighs> Never mind. Okay. Not the sure. Hello? Hi, Aunt Bet. It's Nancy. Hi, Nancy. It's Nancy. Oh. I can hear Bet. Why do you have a painting of Francis Humber? I just thought it would give the den some character, that's all. Okay. I found it in the tack room under a pile of junk. Sure. So the former owners left behind a lot of stuff? I swear, it's like no one who lived at Shadow Ranch ever bothered to take their things with them when they left. When we moved in, the place was literally full of junk. Okay. What did you do with it? I sold most of it to Mary Gazzy. She gets a lot of antique collectors in her store. Uh -huh. Some things I kept, like Francis's favorite recipes. And that ridiculous blanket chip. You insisted on keeping that. Oh, yes. And I kept that triangular-shaped chest in the den. It used yeah. to belong to Merrill Humber. He was Francis's father. Uh -huh. And I figured since I was keeping that picture of Francis, it was only fair that I keep something of his. What kind of logic is that? Oh, hush. I'll be in touch. We'll be right here. Bye. Okay. Thanks. Call Bess and George and see if that helps. Favorite Hello? recipes, the flowers on you your <gasps> Yes! Get this. Last night, Uncle Ed and Aunt Bet found a rattlesnake in their room. Oh my gosh! Are they okay? Well, actually, it bit Uncle Ed. <gasps> Is he alright? He will be. Right now, he's in the hospital. He'll probably be there for a day or two. Aunt Bet's staying with him. Oh my gosh! And apparently a phantom horse showed up at just about the same time as that snake. A phantom horse? Of all the times to get stranded in some stupid airport. Look, you just better keep us posted, Nancy Drew. That's all I gotta say. Apparently last night, this glowing horse came galloping up out of nowhere, caused a huge commotion, then went galloping off and disappeared. It was glowing? It looked like it was glowing. You're there investigating phantom horses, and what are we doing? A big fat nothing. That does it, George. We're suing the airline. That's it for now. Stay in touch. <laughs> That's an order. Okay. Um. Let's look at that recipe again. Uh, what was it? Sunny? No. What kind of plant not complete without icing in my marzipan? Marzipan flower! Flowers on your favorites is marzipan? Nancy's not really saying anything. Okay. That, okay. It's written down. I would, I would love it if they would let me, like, they're, why are, why do they let me look over here if they don't let me do anything? Do you know? Do you know what I mean? Come on. Okay. Why? Nothing new there. You know what? Actually, let's look at cliff dwellings. Maybe. This is not what I thought it would be. Okay. Hmm. I, hmm. Need something? Talk to you later. Yahoo. I don't know what I'm missing. 
Like, am I supposed to be able to get into that locket right now? I feel like yes, but also probably not. The one in the, the triangle thing in the corner of the house. Come on, Bob. I want to know what the script said? What do you mean? <laughs> Yahoo! Sinisterly. That's really funny. See, there's rope right there. Nancy, you could just take the rope. Nancy, please. <laughs> Why can't I just take the rope? <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Um, because we have uh, three puzzles that, well, three All things right, that I could. If you don't know fuck. enough to take the saddle and bridle off your horse before you go traipsing off, you don't deserve a horse. No more riding for you, sister. I hate that guy. Anyways. We need rope, we have the locket that we need to get into, and then we have the trunk that we need to get into. And I literally don't- I have no idea how to do any of it. Like, how am I supposed to get rope? No one will talk to me. Hello, Nancy. Something I can do for you? I'll let you no. get to work. Appreciate it. Unless you have rope! I am going to murder you. Why do these notifications keep popping up? I'm aware. I'm aware of what I can search for. Thank you. The rope here. No. Okay. I'm at a loss. Do we have any suggestions? Like, time mentioned by Meryl. We made a big deal of it. I don't know if he would make that his. Well, I mean, I guess. Hung Dirk at noon. Can't be it. I have no idea. I can only do the 12, the 4, 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, it's only even numbers. Oh, it's one of these. Huh. I thought I needed a combination. Wonderful. What the heck is it? Like what like what is like what what actually is it? So I'm just gonna organize this a little bit. I mm hmm. Ah. <laughs> right, that was very easy. So that leaves two puzzles left. Okay. Uh huh. I had a picture of him and Francis, obviously taken before Dirk Valentine drove a wedge in between them, but nothing about the object you found in it, which is my real question, Nancy Drew. K. 
Can I have rope now? Need something? I'm Talk going to, to murder long. somebody. I... I don't understand. I don't understand. Maybe the chain is just a very small rope. Maybe. You know what? Let's... Maybe we can... Uh, like, maybe we can ask Mary about it. We're not gonna be... We're, that's not gonna be a dialogue option. I guarantee it. I... I'm willing to bet. Am I still gonna try? Yeah, because I literally have nothing else to do, but... Come on, Bob. I just don't... I don't understand. Yeah, maybe the author will take our call now? That's a good question. That's a... that's a good... We, like, found something? Thank you for holding, and thank you for calling the office of Charlena Purcell. Miss Purcell's latest novels, like Wind Through My Heart, was an instant bestseller. And like so many of her novels... <sighs> never mind. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> No, it was a good... It was a good thought. Hi, can I help you with something? It was great talking to you. Catch you later. What on earth? I am wholeheartedly at a loss. <laughs> I don't know what to do. There was also that, um, the combination or whatever of numbers in that letter. It was 9, 12, 15, 22, 5, 25, 15, 21. I don't know what that means. Am I supposed to? I hope not, because I don't. Okay, I'm gonna try to talk to Hello, you. Something I, I can do for you? So. I'll let you get back to work. Ma'am. Like what is he doing? <laughs> That's so suspicious. Miss Nancy. How may I be of okay. service? Well, I'd better get going. Drop by any time. Got a fucking man. Hey, you crowding me here, Nancy. I need elbow room when I cook. Sorry. That was really funny. I... I don't... I don't... I don't know. I don't know. What was the... I... As usual, thing. No, I'm sorry. So there's no context to these at all. They're just here. 9, 12, 15, 25, 25, 15, 21. I, I don't, I don't know what I'm missing, and I feel like it's something big. Um, like a puzzle that we need to have done. Or something. That's usually how these go. And there is just nothing. Not a thing. Thanks for that follow, I appreciate it. I I don't know what no to do. No sense going in there without a horse to ride. Yeah, you can get the rope that's in there that we need, Nancy Drew.
Okay, um... Ulterius, I would love that. Need something? Talk to you later. Yahoo. I'm gonna try to... Maybe if I call... I think Bess and George would have a hint for me. Hello? Hey, Bess. Nancy, our link to the world of excitement and intrigue and decent food. What's the latest? I'm not sure what I should do next. Take a look at the case notes you keep in your notepad. Maybe some of them will spark some ideas. No. How about some hints? Count us out. We're too bored. Our brains have grown weak and flaccid from lack of stimulation. Try Frank and Joe. Flaccid. Bored. That's it for now. Stay Don't say touch. that. <laughs> That's in order. Okay, Frank and Joe. For him. What is it this time? Uh, excuse me? Nancy! Hi! Sorry, I thought you were somebody else. Who'd you think I was? Hey, Nancy. Hi, Frank. I thought you were this guy we're doing some work for. You guys are on a case? That's great! No, it's not. Turns out the guy is a bit neurotic. What do you mean? He wants us to track down his missing laptop. He left it in a restaurant. Only he keeps calling us. Yeah, like every two minutes. He's become a real nuisance. Maybe you should just quit. Can't. Why not? The guy's filthy rich, and if we mm. find that laptop, he said he'd make us filthy rich. But the real okay. reason we can't quit is he's the son of our mother's best friend. Yeah, okay. if we quit, we'd never hear the end of it. Uh-oh, we've got another call. Let him leave a message for the nine millionth time. So, Nancy, tell us about the ranch. I don't want to. I would like a hint. I'd love to see what's inside this old trunk at Mary's, but I need a hint when it comes to opening it. Just do what you did to open that blanket chest. The trick is knowing how far and in what direction to turn each key. I'll bet that hearts and doves and initial stuff that's carved in the trunk is the real key. You've got a trunk that probably dates back to the Old West, and a carving that suggests romance. Sometimes the only way to book some answers is to call an expert. Okay. Catch you later. See ya, partner. Ride him, cowgirl. Don't say that ever again. <laughs> um. April 9th. Okay. I'm glad you also didn't love that. I'm just like, why would you say that? <laughs> Tell me to write anything, please. <laughs> oh dear. Come on, Bob. There better be ho rope in this freaking chest, that's all I gotta say. Probably, I don't know. A nine. And that. I got the trunk open. Great. Hey, hell yeah. Go ahead and take something from it. You deserve a reward. 
D um, I can only choose one thing. Oh, that that's what I want. Francis Humber? Is this the same thing? It is. Thank God. And it's the exact opposite as the other one. There we go. Green bottle under... Hmm, wonder what that means. I also wonder what that means. Okay, maybe now we can we can call. What's her name? Erlina. Charlena Purcell's office. Oh, hell yeah, dude. This is Nancy Drew. May I please speak to Miss Purcell? She told me to put you right through. She even told me to make sure you didn't have to listen to that recording again. You really rate. Hello, you Nancy. Do. So what have you discovered? I opened that trunk and found a locket watch in it that used to belong to Francis. And was anything in the locket watch? Half a picture. I'm pretty sure what's there is a picture of Francis. I think the missing half was of her father. Anyway, on the back it said, Green Bottle Under. Hmm, wonder what that means. I don't know. I was kind of hoping you'd know. Sorry, I know a lot about the Humbers, but I don't know everything. What happened to all of Dirk Valentine's ill-gotten gains? That's what I'd really like to know. Hmm. What do you think happened to it? The rumor is Dirk hid his fortune in such a way that only Francis would be able to find it. Uh -huh. And seeing that he was basically just a high-spirited, fun-loving guy who loved taking risks, uh -huh. I tend to believe it. But the fact sure. that after Dirk's demise, she spent the rest of her life teaching school in Ohio strongly suggests that she never found the treasure. So the rumor probably isn't true. Hmm. Or she was so distraught that she just wanted to leave and she gave up. I have reason to believe that it is. Really? Tell me. I found a letter from Dirk that Francis never read. It told her how to start looking for what he'd hidden for her. Oh, right. She never His read it. So she didn't know about it. Obtuse, though. For example? For example, he refers to her favorite flowers and the flowers on her favorites. Do you know what that means? No, and that's the problem. Whatever clues he left for her no doubt relate to things only she and no one else would understand. Uh-huh. Well, I'm going to try to figure it out anyway. That's the okay. spirit. And if you think there's something I can help you with, please do not hesitate to call. Well, Talk all right soon. then. Look forward to it. Okay. Um. Well, shoot, now what? Now maybe we could get that rope. Fingers crossed. Every time. Need something? <laughs> Talk to you later. No yeah, hurry. rope. Oh, and she'll be coming around the mountain when she goes. Where are you going? You can't leave. The Raleigh said we were to have a cookout and entertain our guest. Yeah, well, I don't call this entertainment. It's worse than whatever that stuff was you cooked. That was lamb ragu for your information, and it was great! If you couldn't appreciate it, it's because your taste buds are about as sophisticated as a sand fleas. You get I think I'll turn in, too. Night, ma'am. Next time, just stick to burgers. Et tu, Brute? You see that? You see what I put up with? 
Day in and day out, I cast my culinary pearls before ungrateful, uncultured swine. Well, I'll show them. I'll write a best-selling cookbook, that's what I'll do. Then I'll get my own... I'm so show. sorry, Sharky. And while they're out here punching cattle, I'll become a gazillionaire. Oh my gosh! Look at that horse. Whose horse is that? Arnor. We should really do something, Nancy. Or not, that's fine. Just go and go to bed, go to sleep, it's fine. This happened right after that phantom horse showed up again? The pump house blew just as the horse was galloping away. Oh my, this is awful. Maybe Shorty was right. Maybe that horse is a bad omen. I'm more inclined to think that someone is using that horse no, to No, it was like attention. a shed type what of thing. Mean? It's possible that while everyone's attention was on that horse, someone sabotaged the pump house. Why on earth there would you someone go. sabotage the pump house? Someone may be trying to chase you off the ranch. Uh-huh. That, I don't know. Yet. You don't think Tex or Shorty or Dave is somehow involved, do you? It's possible, yeah. but I just don't know yet. Oh, Maybe Dave. My. You might not be safe there. Maybe we should send her home. I'll be fine. Really, I want to help. And I can help. Well, it sounds like we could certainly use your help. Can you think of anyone who might have a grudge against you? No, but I'll tell you what. Ed and I will put our thinking caps on, and if anything comes to us, we'll call you. Have you called the sheriff and told him all this? Not yet. Tell her about the storms. Tell me about the what? The storms. You need to be careful when you go riding because it can be sunny one minute and pouring yeah, out. Yeah, we heard from the radio. I'll be careful. Good. And if you have any more questions, just call. One more thing. Until I figure out what's going on, it would probably be a good idea not to mention my suspicions to anyone at the ranch. Of course. Keep in touch. I will. Bye. Okay. So the pump house was the thing that blew so the water tank thingy in there it was water that was coming out of it crime scene no trespassing okay um do you like sherlock holmes games i've played one and it was a good time um i haven't played any more though i need to look into them a little bit more oh deposits <gasps> Not shorty. Can I help you find something? No, yeah. actually, I pretty much found everything on my own. For your information, I got those maps because I was hoping there might be a long lost gold mine or two around here. But I like wasn't most of my get rich quick ideas asking. didn't pan out. Apparently, there's no gold left in them thar hills, or silver, or copper. Them thar hills. Else. Now, I don't ever want to catch you in my stuff again. You won't catch me, don't worry. So, yeah, let's call the sheriff. Totally forgot. Hernandez. Hi, are you the sheriff? <laughs> yeah, I guess we had our own crime scene on trespassing signs. I'm staying at Shadow Ranch. Oh, yeah? I spent a good part of last night out there. I also find Shorty a little suspicious now. I know. I never got a chance to talk to you. Is there something I can do for you? Oh. Thanks for your help. Anytime. Oh, uh, okay. Uh huh. Okay. Keep hearing Shorty as like shoddy. <laughs> shoddy is like a melody. Mm -hmm. I see he has a birthmark on his head. That's really funny. It's really funny. Yes. I'd like to apologize. I'd like to apologize. Just proves we're birds of a feather. I've been known to go poking through other people's stuff myself. He gets me. Ha ha ha.
Have you been out to the pump house? All the water to the ranch house has been cut off. The livestock will still get water from the windmills, but uh -huh. we humans are going to have to get every single drop of water we use from the faucet in the pump house. And that's going to be a royal pain. Why can't uh -huh. that darn horse do its cursed thing somewhere else? You really think what happened to the pump house was the result of bad luck? I saw the pipe. It was rusted through. That's why it burst. That oh. and bad vibes from that equine banshee. Bad vibes. Got any chores Got you want me to do? Do exactly what you did for me yesterday, and I'll be forever grateful. Start by picking all the ripe stuff in the garden again. Basket's outside. Uh-huh. Well, I'd better get going. All right. Don't be a stranger. What about the egg basket? He really is pushing hard on the curse. You're not wrong. Okie dokie, then. These look ripe. These look ripe. This one looks ripe. And, um... I don't know, these ones look... ripe. Okay. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. Nancy, it is lit- well, okay, I guess that, that is kind of hot. <laughs> Pick those vegetables for me yet? You betcha. Hey, there's stuff that's way over in here. Well, I'll just pitch it. In the meantime, go back out there and try again. What do you mean? I- Right. What? I don't, um, the Romanos were the snap peas. Did I, did I click on that one? Like, why is this button, like, so big? Uh-huh. They all look ripe. Every single one of them look ripe. Do they not? They don't- none of them look little- like little tiny things. Did I click on all of them? He's gonna get mad at me. Hang on, I'm just gonna save it. His, um... Uh... Gardening. Um, is there anything over here? No. The black turtles were definitely supposed to look like that. These ones weren't, though. I think all of these are ripe, yeah? I don't know. This one looks fine. This one looks fine. This one looks fine. Okay. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. There's more ripe stuff out there than that. You bet there is. There's more ripe stuff out there Sorry, than that. Sorry, I meant to turn you around. Bet there is. A really big hitbox. Okay. It's so hot, I should get these vegetables into Shorty right away. Wait, how does he know? There's more ripe stuff out there than that. There is? What do you mean there is? What do you mean? None of the tomatoes are ready. Unless it's this one. It's hard to tell where the old ivory egg stops and the northern lights begin. Okay, I'm confident that that is done it's so hot i should get these we got a really big hitbox right can away. be nice he does like look at i'm like d okay like i you know like sure it's on his feet but like still for me yet? you betcha 
Good for you. Good for me. Now, you just fill that egg basket for me again. We'll be all set. Well, I'd better get going. Come back soon. Just gotta grab some eggs. We'll be all set. I don't have to make another fire, do I? I'm not go in there until I call the sheriff. I called the sheriff. He didn't do shit. You, I, he, I could called him. Hernandez. Hello, Sheriff. It's Nancy Drew again. Hello, Nancy. What can I do for you? Would it be all right if I looked around in the pump house? Sure. I'm all done in there. Should I have my deputy take that sign down? Mind my asking why you want to look around? Wait a minute. Dave told me about you. You're the girl detective. Amateur oh my god, detective. I have a reputation. Oh no, Dave seemed to be real impressed with you. In more ways than one, I might add. Do you oh. know most of the men who work at Shadow Ranch? I oh, know more. Dave. That doesn't mean I'm best buddies with Is them, Dave? but it's a pretty small world out here. And I've either known or known of those boys for years. And they're all stand-up guys, as far as you know? I'd vouch for every single one of them. Mr. Thanks Chaps, I think. Just doing yeah. my job. Thank you, Red. On. Hang on, let's also call since we're here in this sweet little menu. SWGS, this is Geza. Hi, my name is Nancy Drew. Not too long ago, you provided this person I know with a map that showed the locations of mineral deposits in central Arizona. That's what I'm here for. Is it unusual for an ordinary citizen to request a map like that? Depends on which map it was. The number on it was PU. How do you remember that, Nancy Drew? Three A. Publication eight nine three alpha. Let me get it on my screen here. Yeah, that's a map somebody'd use if they wanted to go prospecting in their spare time. What's Where? this person's name? Uh, Shorty Thurman. Shorty Thurman. Yep, there he is. According to my notes, he just started a job in the Shadow Mountain area and figured he'd go looking for gold on his off hours. You keep notes on all the calls you get? In a bureaucracy like this one, you never know. When something goes south and fingers start pointing, it's always good to have your side of the story all nice and documented. Do your notes say anything else? Apparently, this shorty person asked me if I knew anything about Dirk Valentine's treasure. Oh! Really? Do you remember what he said? As I recall, he'd heard a rumor that some outlaw had buried some kind of treasure near Shadow Mountain. He thought it might be in an old mine shaft or something. I know, there's gotta and be some sort of like... Him? Color discretion or no, something, you know? It. Well, thank you, Geza. No problem. What did you say your name was again? Nancy... Drew. Nancy Drew. Asked a lot of questions. Didn't buy any maps. But she really appreciated your taking the time to talk to her. Be sure to put that in your notes too, okay? Got it. Goodbye, Miss Drew. Bye. Okay. No way! Where does this lead? Dave? <gasps> well, where did you come from? Where did you come from? Where did you come from? Well, see, I just... I mean... I'm looking for Dirk Valentine's treasure. Uh-huh. Then you lied before when you said you didn't know who Dirk Valentine was. Yes, ma'am. See, my great aunt Ellie was Francis Humber's cousin. When she died, she left me a bunch of stuff, including an old letter she'd gotten from Francis. In the letter, mm -hmm. Francis said that Valentine had hidden a bunch of loot somewhere and wanted Francis to find it by following the clues he left for. How did Francis she know about it? She didn't open the letter. Scene, loved puzzles, played the piano pretty good, too. Anyway, after yeah, Valentine met his end, Francis was too broken-hearted to care about some treasure. She told Aunt Ellie that if she could find it, she could keep it. I also found this picture. That's Francis's <laughs> father, Sheriff Merrill Humber. There's something written on the back. Don't make fun Stairs of his mouth. Cellar. That's Francis's handwriting. Looks like the other half of the message got torn off. I was hoping that the treasure might be under the stairs in here, but... No such luck. I didn't know this Green place bottle. had a cellar. As far as I know, no one does. The entrance is secret. These stairs lead to a secret door behind the bookcase in the den. Hmm, okay. What do the Raleigh's think about all this? The Raleigh's don't know. I was afraid that if I told them, they'd... See, my brother's dead broke. Okay. No job, health's bad. 
I was thinking if I could just find the treasure... I understand, but now I'm in kind of an awkward position. I know, and I'll tell them, I swear, soon as they come back. They got enough on their minds right now. What about all the accidents that have been happening around here lately? I don't know anything about I think that you're right. He's any of that stuff that's been going on around here. I swear. Now, He's definitely not as pardon, he wouldn't. I need to tend to my chores. This wouldn't be happening right now if no, if wait. he. You don't have to leave. Yeah, no, that wouldn't that wouldn't have been happening if. Ooh, cute. Something's missing. Of course it is. He was the bad guy. We would not have gotten that cutscene. We're not gonna look at the what did what did what did it say? We don't have it. We do have it. How you open this, girl? You've already opened it. Please don't make me do it again. Ugh. It just said stairs, green bottle under the stairs. So why are we not looking under the stairs, Nancy? Why are we not looking under the stairs, Nancy Drew? Maybe the message on the pictures refers not to the stairs to the den, but to these oh. stairs. Oh. 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 What is the goal here? Like, genuinely, what are we... What are we trying to accomplish? What goal am I supposed to be working towards? Oh, this one. Where do we... Where do we take it? We just gotta get it free or what? Probably. That was dumb. I didn't need to do that. Very satisfying noise. this out of the way. Can we restart? Oh, There's hell yeah, dude. Inside. I am glad that you are getting your picture painted wearing your favorite shawl. It will be a beautiful painting because you look beautiful in that shawl. I forget the name of the stitch you used to make it, but I think it is amazing that you learned how to knit a whole shawl just by reading one book. I wish I could put my mind to things like you can. I am also glad that you like the handbag that I got you. I knew it would become your favorite on account of the pretty picture the beads make. I want to know all the things that you like so that I can make sure you always have them. I figure that way you will He's always so want me sweet. around. Meet me on Friday. Oh, that noon, was a little manipulative, but... I love you, Dirk. That's fine. <laughs> Remember when we were in Cappy's eating the crackers he orders special from California? And you said that from then on the crackers would be your favorite because they would always remind you of me? Well, I met a trader yesterday who had a whole wagon full of them and I bought you four tins. I also bought a rock from him because this rock has been polished to show a picture that looks just like the landscape by one of our meeting places. 
He called it an agate and said that the picture was made by nature, but it looks so real I can hardly believe it. I am thinking of a way to surprise you with it because it is as special as you are. I will meet you Tuesday at 3 by the three-armed cactus. Your father has people watching for me all over the county. I guess you got some of your smartness from him. I love you, Dirk. I still don't know how you got a whole cake out to our last meeting place like you did, but it was the best thing I ever ate, and the prettiest too, what with that fancy flower you put on it. Now I think it is the best cake recipe in the world too, but nothing is as good as getting a letter from you. Whenever I see a flower like the one on your favorite letter paper, I think of you. I only steal from people who have plenty of money to begin with and deserve to be robbed, but if I could start over, I would forget about them and be a rancher or a farmer or miner or shopkeeper or whatever you wanted me to be, just so we could always be together. Be at Charlie's grave at sunset this Thursday. I love you, Dirk. Okay. Fun. So that was, that was cool. Um. <laughs> Looks it. like the pipe was pretty badly corroded. Oh, another arrowhead. Wonderful, thank you. Okay, anything else in here I need to... No, we're not. No, okay, that's fine. So, it turns out that she has a lot of favorites. Um, you know, she has favorite crackers. She has a, a favorite cake. She has um, a favorite flower, on, or uh, her favorite letter paper. Why are you still here? Got those eggs for me? Right here. Good for you. Good for me. I need you to do one more thing. <gasps> it's Tex's birthday. The Raleigh's told me to make him a cake. Now, if I make it, he'll throw a fit. But if you make it, he might actually appreciate it. So why don't I'll you dig a cake. a cake recipe out of the recipe box and have at it? I don't care when you make it, just so it's done by the end of the day. The icing's I'll already make made. What do you know about the treasure that Dirk Valentine yeah. supposedly hid around here for Francis Humber to find? If I thought there was a snowball's chance in Tampa that Valentine had stashed any of his loot here, I'd be tearing this place apart. Why? What do you know about it? I just heard about it, that's all. When I heard that rumor, I started reading everything about Dirk Valentine I could get my hands on. But the uh -huh. more I read, the more it sounded like he suckered Francis into believing he'd hidden something for her just to give people something to talk about when he was gone. Oh, yeah? Can I get a canteen of water from you? You betcha. You're good to go. Well, I'd better get going. Don't be a stranger. Let's make a cake. Um... The only cake that's in here. Cup butter. Two eggs. Ooh, we get to keep it. Good. First thing I'll need to make that cake is a mixing bowl. Yeah. Why? I can't get in there right now. Why not? It's our recipe. Fancy Drew. <sighs> One cup butter. They think I would just like memorize it or what? Two eggs. One and two thirds cup milk. Four cups. Flour. This is a lot of flour. One tablespoon baking powder. Two and one third cup sugar. And three teaspoons of vanilla. Got it. 
Hi, Alterius. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. All right, let's do... What is this, milk? Milk. This is the third cup. So we need... We need one and two-thirds. So that's one... Myth. Two... Two... Leaving early fee. I appreciate you. Missed. Okay. Do two eggs. Shell and all. We'll do two sticks of butter. We have four cups of flour. Fuck, how much is a pint? Pint is two cups? How many cups in a pint? I'm googling. How many cups in a pint? Two cups in a pint? Thank you. Okay, so we need to do two of these. One. Two. Okay, and then let's do... Of course it's a teaspoon. Of vanilla. Three teaspoons. I thought they were gonna make me... I don't know. Two. Three. Tablespoon of baking. God damn it. There's three teaspoons in a one, two. Thank you for that follow. I appreciate it. I think there's three. I think there's three. Right? Eggs with shell, butter with wrapper. This is, yeah, this is gonna be so yummy. And then two and one third cup sugar. Two and one third. Wow. Okay. So one. Two, one, two, two, <laughs> two, <laughs> um, and then one third. Okay, cool. That was the weirdest way I've ever counted in my life. I think that's it. We're done. I don't know. Did it say anything about the... Oh, now I can look at the recipe? Did it say, did it say anything about that, that one? Looks like I'm gonna have to guess how long to cook it and what temperature to use. Um, let's use medium uh for i don't know usually like 45 minutes sure perfect oh my god Maybe i should try a little just to be sure nancy i should put that icing shorty made on it well is it good right click to these? rotate pieces i made you that flour francis mentioned in her recipe I cut all the pieces out of marzipan using her old forms, but I'll be darned if I can figure out how the pieces go. Sure. I'll be darned. Um... Doesn't seem... What are these for? Am I supposed to be dyeing these first, or...? No. Oh, no. Thank god. D 
you call it marzipan now that I think of it? It's a tulip. What's this? It's a tulip. That's food coloring so you can paint that marzipan flower. Oh my god, that's so nice. Wonderful. So cute. So cute! All done!